Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the beta and the release preview channel from the Windows Insider program, of course. We don't have a new build for the dev channel uh, in this week, again, so we are expecting one next week, but Microsoft decided to launch or to release a new update or build for the beta and the release preview channels, which means that new changes and improvements and also fixes that you can find in this new build will be added to the main release release maybe in like a month time from now. The build that was released is the build 22,000.526. This build contains a few changes and improvements and also fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about a few fixes and a few changes briefly. And if you want to see the whole list of changes and fixes, of course, you can check out the article down below in the description as always. First of all, Microsoft fixed an issue that might cause the time zone list and settings to appear blank for users who are not administrators. This is a good fix because this happened quite a lot. Microsoft also fixed an issue that fails to show the startup impact values in Task Manager that should be fixed in this build. Also, they fixed an issue that prevents you from unloading and reloading drivers when the drivers are protected hypervisor protected code integrity. That is also a good thing. The clock and date was added to the taskbars of other monitors when you connect other monitors to your device, of course. Another good change and improvement in my opinion, so I think a lot of you will be glad to hear about this. Another thing is that Microsoft added weather content to the left side of the taskbar if the taskbar is aligned in the center. When you hover over the weather, the widgets panel will appear on the left side of the screen and will disappear when you stop hovering over the area. Unfortunately, in my case, I don't know why, that isn't the case. I don't have that weather info in the left side. Of course, I showed it to you before in the dev channel, but now we should have it on the beta and release preview channels and of course soon on the main release. But in my case, I don't have it on the taskbar. I tried reloading the widgets and also changing the taskbar behavior from left to center, but that wasn't the case. I heard that users had this issue. I don't know. Microsoft released this update, but still has a few issues, unfortunately. And also Microsoft added the ability to instantly mute and unmute Microsoft Teams call from your taskbar. During a call, an active microphone icon will appear on the taskbar so that it can easily mute the audio without having to return to the Microsoft Teams call window. This is again something that we had on the dev channel before, but now it is introduced in the beta channel and soon on the main release of Windows 11. These are the main things or highlights in my opinion that we can talk about in this video, but as I've said, you're going to have the full list of changes and fixes in the article down below in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like down below below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.